Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Modular Congruence by Pewterbleep. So, we have normal 6x6 Sudoku rules, that means in each row, each column, and each 2x3 box, we are placing the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. We also have these uh, digits outside the grid, this 17, this 11, let's just do the 11 here, um, and they've got a little diagonal arrow on them. These are called little killers, and... What they do is they point down the diagonal at all of the cells in the diagonal until you reach the other end of the grid. And it's telling you the sum of those digits. So these four sum to 11. So I could, for example, do 1, 2, 3, 5. That does sum to 11. But I'm not limited to just doing that because I can repeat digits. So I could do, for example, 1, 4, 1 and repeat the 1. Uh, and that would add to 6. And then, oops, <laughs> and then I could put a 5 here to make us 11. So... You're allowed to repeat digits as long as other rules allow you to repeat the digits. Like It's not like little killers say, hey, suddenly you can repeat where you couldn't before. It's just they don't add an extra non-repeat rule like, say, a killer cage would. All right. And we also have these teal lines on the grid. These are This is one big modular line. So the way modular lines work is they um, every three digits that are adjacent on the line have to have one of each of... Um, uh, of remainders after dividing by three, if that, if that makes any sense. So we're basically grouping. We've got the one, four group, the two, five group, and the three, six group. So as long as I have one digit from one, four, one digit from two, five, and one digit from three, six, I'm good. So the order doesn't matter. I could do this, or I could, I could move the one, four to the middle, put the three, six here. The order doesn't matter as long as these three have one of each, but every single group of three, no matter what group of three you choose, this group of three as well, this group of three, this group of three. All groups of three along the line have to have exactly one of each from the three groups. Um, and the groups are created by dividing by three and seeing what the remainder is. All right, and that's it. Those are the rules. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color the modular line. So I'm just going to call this green, purple, orange. Now, why did I color it? Well. Whatever this digit ends up being, say it's a 4, then green represents the 1-4 group. If this digit ends up a 5, then green represents the 2-5 group. You should hold it, hopefully get the idea there. So whatever group this is, we're going to call it green. And we know that we have one of each group within these three cells. And so this we're going to call this purple, and we're going to call this orange. We're going to have one of each. Now, if we look at these three, I also need one of each group. And I already have the purple group and the orange group. There's only three groups in total. So I know that what I'm missing is the green group. So this has to be green. And now this group of three has the orange and the green. I'm missing the purple. And so you can see it ends up cycling where you go green, purple, orange, 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 green. So now we've colored a lot of the grid here. And what we know is that there's two of each color in every row, column, and box because each group has two digits in it. Like, this is going to be maybe a 1-4 pair, and that removes the rest of the 1-4s from the box, right? I can't have a third green, because I'd repeat a 1 or a 4. And so I need a I need one final purple in this box. Uh, I need, let's see, I need one final green in this box. This row finishes with a purple. Let's see, what do we need in this box? An orange and a green. So this can't be green, because there's already two greens in the column, but this box needs another green. So that ends up here, and we finish the box with an orange. Okay, uh, these two can't be purple. Ah, this one can't be green because of the two greens, and it can't be purple because of the two purples, so it has to be orange. And then that, this column finishes with a green. Here we need a purple and an orange. Here we need a green and a purple. So this can't be green, so this is our green. And that makes this the purple, which finishes the row with an orange and the box with a purple. Over here we need a purple and orange. This can't be purple, two purples. Oh yeah, the column finishes with an orange. That's a purple. Lots of ways to finish this, I'm sure. And then up here, we do need both oranges. Otherwise, we need a green and a purple. I don't know that we know how this resolves. Oh, actually we do. There's two purples in this row. So the final, and two purples in this column, two purples in this row. The final purple goes here. That finishes the column with an orange. Uh, this can't be green because of the row. So this is the green, and then this is the final orange. Okay. So the entire puzzle is colored. I think we're done. No, I'm kidding. So we have to actually fill numbers now, and that's what these little killers are going to help us with. So you'll notice all of these are green. So what <laughs> we're basically going to end up with um, 
we only have two digits to work with. So we need to think about, will the one four work? Will the two five work? Will the three six work? So starting with one four, what could I add to? Well, this will always add to five. And so we'd have to make this add to six somehow. There's no way with ones and four, a single one and a single four or two ones or two fours, there's no way we're adding to six. So we're not the one four. If this was two five, that adds to seven. And so then now with using twos and fives, we need four more. So we could do two five with a two here and a two here, that would work. Uh, if this was three six, that adds to nine. And now using threes and sixes, we would need two more. Uh, definitely not possible. So we've proven it is only able to be two five with a two here and a two here. All right, so now we know all of the greens are two fives. This is five, this is two, five, two, five, two, five, two, five, five. All right, greens are done. Now we should probably look at this 17 because what else do we have? So we already have two. So we need to make these add to 15 somehow um, using ones, fours, threes, and sixes. So let's just write that out, one, four, three, six. So these three are are from the same group. We just get to 15. I wonder if subcoloring, can I subcolor these? I think I can. I think subcoloring purple will help. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use gray. Uh, that wasn't gray. This is gray. Uh, I'm going to use gray to represent um, one type of purple. And I'm going to use black to represent the other type of purple. So we we know that there's two different digits for purple, right? So this is the purple gray, the purple gra purple black. That's hard to say. So that's gray, that's black, that's gray, that's black, that's gray, that's black. And then this is black, making that gray, black, and gray. Um, and so we know that we have two of the same and then one different here. Let's do the same down here. So um, we'll just use gray and black again. So gray, black, gray, black, gray, black. Oops, gray, black, gray, black, gray, black. Okay. So now along here, the oranges are both the same digit. So what we know actually, and this is going to be, I think this is going to be helpful. Well, uh, yeah, it will be. I, yeah. So remember we need to add, these need to add to 15, which is an odd number. And we know that these two are the same digit as each other. And these two are the same digit as each other. When you add a digit to itself, it always becomes even. And so, because it's going to be two times that digit, <laughs> it's pretty obvious, hopefully. Uh, and so this is going to add to an even number, and, th and these two add to an even number. So an even plus an even is still even, and we need to get to an odd number, 15. So the only way to do that is to make this an odd number. And notice from 1, 3, 4, 6, the only odd number is 3. So we know that purple black is 3, which then makes purple gray the 6. And now we know that these, uh, in fact, we can just finish all of them, but... Uh, we'll finish them in a second. Um, so we know that these add to, uh, wait, that adds to 15 already. Hold on. What's wrong with my, did I mess up something? These need to get to 15. That's odd. And this is an even number, and this is an even number. So that's going to be even in total. Oh, sorry, one is also odd. What is wrong with me? <laughs> I, I just declared that one wasn't odd somehow. Uh, I don't know how that happened. So we proved that three doesn't work because if this was three, these would be sixes. I, see, I did that on purpose to, to help you think about it. <laughs> um, whoops, what, what an ending. Anyway, uh, we, uh, we can't make this three because that would make both of these six and six plus six plus three is, is already 15. So these would have to be zeros. So we're not going to be doing the three which means with the only option left is the one because it's not even. So with the one here, these two are four and these already add to uh, nine. Nine is not 15. In fact, to get from nine to 15, we need to add to six, which makes both of these a three. And so now we know exactly how to finish. So we know that all of the uh, orange grays are threes and all of the orange blacks are sixes. And then all of the gray purples are fours and all of the black purples are ones. And we have finished with a very colorful grid. <laughs> all right, cool. Um, that was a neat puzzle, Peter Bleep. Um, it's kind of your classic, get the whole puzzle colored and then little killers tell you how what the digits are. Um, kind of a, a classic way of setting a puzzle where you, know, you, you, you kind of solve two puzzles in one. 
But that that was an interesting puzzle. I wish I wish I had realized one was odd <laughs> instead of declaring it had to be three and then it didn't work. But anyway, let me know how you did. And if you enjoyed this, why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.